My brothers, my sisters, you may have heard of the James Webb telescope costing billions of dollars. Allah Almighty has always challenged man and promised that every time you discover something, it will lead you to the confirmation that this revelation of the Quran is the truth and that Allah Almighty is indeed the creator and whatever he has revealed is the truth. Sanurihim ayatina fil afaq. We will show them our signs in the horizons. Wafi anfusihim and within themselves. Yes, there is a telescope that is the most sophisticated created so far. Many nations came together in order to get this rolling to launch it, the James Webb Telescope into space, millions of kilometers in order to find out what there is that already proves that man did not know and does not know because every day he's discovering more and more. Yet people say we won't believe what we don't see. So they say we don't believe in the maker because we didn't see him. Well, Allah says we showed you our signs and Allah says you keep going and you will keep going. But this creation, you will not be able to go beyond the point that Allah does not want you to go beyond. Haven't you heard? Ya yeah. ma'ashar al-jinni wal-insi In istata'tum an tanfudhu min aqtari al-samawati wal-ard Fanfudhu la tanfudhuna illa bi sultan Fa bi ayy alai rabbikuma tukathiban Surah Ar-Rahman, where Allah continues to say, which is it of the favors of your Lord do you, man and jinn, deny? Allah says, O man and jinn, go well within the skies and the earth and continue therein. You won't be able to go beyond the point of the authority of Allah. When Allah authorizes or permits or allows you, you will go because he wants you to discover something. He wants you to know something. But Allah says it's only through his permission. Man existed for billions of years according to science. According to us, we know man existed from the time of Adam. May peace be on him. But we don't know exactly how many years. Science tells you billions of years. Okay, billions of years. Imagine it took billions of years for man to discover something simple. Simple like what? Did you know the closest star that you look at at night was there four and a half years before you actually saw it? When I look at a star at night, that star may not be there because why the speed of light four and a half light years away is the closest of the stars. So it could have dropped or like Allah says in the Quran, he uses it for a purpose. The stars, they call it a falling star in English. We say Rujuman shayatini, the pelting of the devils. That's what we say because it's revelation. Do you know it could have been there four and a half years back and not there anymore but you're seeing it because of that speed of light for four and a half years then it came to your simple eye allahu akbar and you think you're a big deal oh man and guess what the james webb telescope discovered and continues to discover millions of planets bigger than the biggest and larger than the largest and greater in number than ever dreamt of by man and did you know that and people say I like Allah describes us and I love the description because it's apt. Surat Yasin. Does man not see that we created him from a droplet of semen? Allahu Akbar. From a droplet of sperm. Allah says you were created from a drop of sperm. And then he comes up to argue and become so argumentative about us, man. You heard a droplet, man. Come on. All of us, myself included. Go and check. Go and have a peep. Where were you? And now you want to think you're a big deal because you got a little bit of something that's the dirt of this dunya known as wealth. Subhanallah. You think it's really a big deal when Allah says the last person to enter paradise will have this whole world multiplied by 10. Now you can understand it. You know why? There are billions of planets they've just discovered. They don't even have names for all of those. Galaxies. 
When we thought, oh, how many planets are there? What are the names of the planets? And we were young and we used to rattle out those names. Mashallah. Today, trust me, what we knew was not even a droplet in the ocean. When Allah Almighty says, Wallahi, from the beginning of creation to the end of creation, if every human being had to ask me whatever they ever wanted, and I granted every single one of them whatever they wanted, it would not displace in my kingdom more than a needle would displace from an ocean if it were to be dipped in and removed Allahu Akbar that's Allah and man was oh, okay maybe James Webb telescope is giving you a little glimpse only a glimpse because in a few years time after we are gone there's going to be another telescope going even further and they will be baffled meaning baffled and boggling mashal mind boggling Allah says La khalqu samawati wal ardi akbar min khalqin nas the creation of the skies and the earth is bigger larger than the creation of mankind you look at a tree in your yard it was there at the time of your great grandfather your grandfather your father yourself your child your grandson and your great grandson and the tree is still standing but what happened to man man died Five generations, six generations. Tell me who lived longer, you or the tree? <laughs> Allahu Akbar. And man thinks he can argue. I don't need to pray Fajr. I don't need to prepare for the day I'm going to meet with the maker. There's no maker according to some. So this was a coincidence. Allahu Akbar. Coincidence of what? Do you really think such sophisticated minds and brains? Do you know how insignificant we are, oh man? Today you look at something, you put a telescope and you, or you put a microscope, should I say, if you want to look deeper into the cells of your own body. Allah says, we will show you signs, not just in the horizons, but within yourselves, we will show you signs that the Quran is the truth. So go search, look at your organs, look at how they work, look at your eyes, look at your noses, look at your lips and your tongues and your ears and your hair and whatever else it may be. Look at your nails, look at your fingers, look at your toes, look at your feet, your legs, your bones, look at whatever there is that Allah has made, the organs, the kidneys, the liver, the heart, whatever else it may be, the muscles, the subhana rabbi al-a'la, the veins, whatever else it is. One small thing goes wrong, oh man, and you are in such pain that you don't feel like living. And you can't even pray for the one who made you. You really think all the sophisticated creation was there for nothing from nothing and is going to return to nothing. Allahu Akbar. I'm a believer. I believe that there is a maker and I worship him alone. And I believe that he has not yet told us or shown us or allowed us to see more than a little droplet of what he has in terms of creation or even a fraction of his knowledge. وَمَا أُوتِيتُمْ مِنَ الْإِلْمِ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا Oh man, we have not given you knowledge except but very little. Man thinks he's sophisticated because you can put the chip. I remember long back when I was young, when we had, subhanallah, the indicators on our motor vehicles, we had to actually push them back after we turned the corner. And later on, as we grew a little bit older, we saw those Nissan Datsun pulses when we were young, if you recall those cars. And you know what? For the first time, as you're turning the steering wheel the other way, it flicks up on its own. Wow, man. Wow. Subhanallah. Today, the whole car drives on its own. You think you're a big deal. Allah says, hang on. The more you do all of this, the more technologically you become advanced. We're going to show you how insignificant you are. We will allow you to discover galaxy upon galaxy that you never dreamt about. You never thought about. You don't even know how far it goes. Imagine. This telescope, millions of kilometers away from Earth, is bringing back, sending back images of planets and galaxies and so much that this Earth is one of the smallest in existence. Subhanallah. Imagine. People used to think, oh, the sun is like this. Go and check how many and what's going on. Please take an interest in this. Go and Google it, the James Webb Telescope and the images from the James Webb Telescope. It will refresh your Iman because that's what it's supposed to do. Although those who might have launched it may not have thought that it's going to come back with refreshing the conviction of the believers, but that's what it's doing to us. That's what it should do. So we ask Allah to grant us goodness. My brothers, my sisters, you know when we read the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he is the most truthful. Some people who don't believe and didn't believe may mock and laugh and scoff and, and everything else. 
But the Sahaba radiallahu anhum and the companions narrated those narrations and they passed them down one after the other. They got to us and I promise you one by one things are coming true. And the Quran, the revelation that has absolutely no flaw in it from any angle or aspect. People laughed when it was said that the sun moves. People said, how does the sun move? It's the earth that moves. Then later on, they discovered it does move, but very little. Allah didn't say how much it moves. He just said it moves. When Allah says all these planets move in an orbit, the orbit was discovered later on. Yet a man 1400 years back, Nabi of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam already brought it to us. Surat Yasin. All of them, they are moving in an orbit. What happened? Allahu Akbar. So refresh your faith, my brothers, my sisters. Thank Allah we are mu'mineen. We have the Quran revelation that is giving us and has given us Something which is being discovered on a daily basis. When Allah speaks of the organs, the birth of man, Allah speaks of how man was created, every single thing. There was a time when people said, Subhanallah, Rabbil Alameen. Tell you something else. A man is dead when the heart stops beating. I know people whose hearts have stopped beating. They have the hearts of others in their bodies. And guess what? They are still alive. What happened? So when we were explained that the heart begins to pump at the beginning in the womb of the mother, Yet the soul is not blown in. We learned there is a difference between the heart and the soul. Yes, there is a connection. Subhanallah. So at a certain time, the soul is blown in and then the life is full. 120 days within the wombs of your mothers. And then you have people who will tell you, no, there's a heartbeat. Go and follow what Allah and his Rasul are saying. Ya Salam. Allah has promised you, O oh man, as you discover, your discoveries will be updated and upgraded as time passes until you get to the end where it will confirm what we've revealed. You know why? Because we created. Allahu Akbar. We created. So they might tell you today in science that this doesn't happen and that happens. And a few years later, they'll say, oops, we found out something else. But in the interim between the two, a lot of people who were slaves to science alone, what happened? They disbelieved in Allah. But science has proven this. My brother, 70 years after your death, science proved the opposite. Allahu Akbar. You see, don't lose your faith in Allah. When Allah Almighty speaks about his greatness and he tells you about the heavens and he tells you about the skies, those are used and connected, although separated. When Allah speaks of the heavens and the skies, some people, including myself, sometimes we use that to translate Samawat, the seven heavens or the seven skies. In actual fact, it's the seven skies because Jannah is something beyond this that Allah has created. If this is the creation of Allah that he's allowed you and I to see, imagine what paradise is. My brothers, my sisters, what do you think of Allah? The greatness of Allah. When Allah tells you, Inna fi samawati wal ardi. Indeed, in the creation of the skies and the earth. Wa layli wa nahar. And the rotation of the day and the night. La ayatin li ulil albab. Are signs for those with sound intellect. Signs of what? Primarily signs of the existence of a maker, the creator, the nourisher, the cherisher, the sustainer, the provider, the protector, the curer, the one who is the only one alone deserving of worship, worthy of worship, unworthy of worship besides he who made these galaxies. If man did not have this James Webb telescope, would he have known what there is? And I want to go a step further with the James Webb telescope, man still knows almost nothing. Why? Because 100 years from today, when you and I are gone, there will be something else where man will discover. And what happens to those who passed away? Thinking that there was nothing beyond the small little circle we have. They would be stumped mid-wicket. That's what it is. So I was saying, use a telescope and check the cells. And then zoom out. That's the word. Zoom out. As you zoom out, you can no longer see the cell. Who created that cell? As minute as it is, Allah made it. And then listen to this, as you zoom out, you're seeing the finger. Wow, no longer the cells. I can see now fingerprints, right? Zoom out a little bit more. You cannot see the prints, you can just see the fingers. Zoom out a little bit more. You see a human being, a beautiful face. That's why I tell you, my sisters, no one noticed the pimples on your face besides you. It's zoomed out as a gift from Allah. No one moves with a telescope to check how many zits you have on your face. No, it's okay. No one notices how bent your nose is because 99.9, .9, if not 100% of our noses are not absolutely perfect. I see some of the guys touching their noses, mashallah. 
But it's a fact. We become so conscious of ourselves and we live in agony and we live in whatever. Because why? We think it is, suppose everyone else is perfect and everyone at the same time is thinking they're imperfect. Perfection is for Allah. That's what it is. So as you zoom out, what do you notice? You notice people, I'm talking to you. We fall in love, mashallah. We get married. We have children. We're excited. We have money, a few little notes. And we think we're, wow, we have gold and silver. We buy a car. We have a house. Woo! The, the, the beautiful decoration that you have, it costed me so much. Do you know, I've put the latest inverter and the latest generator and the latest solar and the latest whatever else. And you think you're so, so mashallah. Do you know what? You and your small circle are worth 20 million rands. Big deal. Big deal. Can I show you why? Let's catch a flight. Jump on the plane that you own. Say, what did the plane cost you? $300 million. Wow, big deal. Why big deal? Let's fly. You took off. Where are you taking off? It's still the creation of Allah, isn't it? Allah made it. Remember the cell and as small as it is, sophisticated as it is, I told you Allah made it. Now you took off, you look down. What do you notice? Hey, those houses look like toys. Check those little cars moving like dinkies. You know, it's a dinky, the small little cars. Yes, look at those cars. Wow, they look so interesting. Go a little bit higher. What do you see? Do you know that when you get to 30, 35, 40,000 feet, and that's just like sort of a comfortable height, altitude, right? You don't see. But what you do see inside there, there are millions of people, all of them worth 100 million. Big deal. Where are they? Somewhere there, under my finger. Where are you? You're higher up. The higher you go, the less you notice. Why? Because there's something bigger that you're noticing. There is Allah and his creation. My brothers, my sisters. That is Allah's creation. Let's go higher. Now you go beyond. People are getting excited. I've got all the money in the world. I'm going to join up with SpaceX and I'm going to go for a three minute ride that will cost me a hundred million or whatever else it may be. And I'm going to check out what space is all about. I want to look at the earth from a bit far out. So you go. I promise you it looks nothing different than a tennis ball, different color perhaps. Notice how perfect, perfectly Allah's created in such a way that none bash into the other. Kullun fi falakin, yasbahun. They're all rotating in a beautiful way. One day when Allah instructs it, it's going to do whatever in order to come to an end. And you go higher, what do you see now? I see a globe. That globe is one of the smallest planets. My brothers, my sisters, in it, there are guys and women and men who think they're such a big deal. They oppress each other for Allah. It's so insignificant. Not even a droplet in a droplet of a droplet of the ocean. You see that? And you know that telescope is showing you. They say, where's the earth? Oh, you won't see the earth. Why? It's too small. But you and I are there in the earth and look at them saying, you won't see it. Come on, but I'm there. Come on. I, I have to shave, you know. The, the small hair irritates me here, man. Subhanallah. Do you get what I'm saying? Turn to Allah. Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. Oh man, what has deceived you against your own Lord who made you, who fashioned you, who gave you your identity? Do not turn away from Allah. Turn to Allah. He is great. You are going to return to him. Imagine if you see the creation is so huge that we still don't know what there is one day when you meet with Allah. What's going to happen? They say the best thing ever, ever is to see Allah. Allah has kept it for the Akhirah. May Allah grant us that sweetness. My brothers and sisters, here we are sitting in this beautiful masjid in Basmont. And we just went for a little walk in the park. To do what? Just to check a little bit of the creation of Allah, to hear about it. The smallest cell with the greatest detail was created by Allah. And the largest of the largest of planets created by the same Allah. You will never ever know the number of creatures of Allah. My brothers and sisters, man is insignificant. But when man puts his head on the ground in prostration for the Lord of the worlds, he is greater than all of that creation. So don't be miserly to throw your head onto the ground for the sake of Allah. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Take your time in sujood because that is going to help you. Aqrabu ma yakunul abdu li rabbihi wa huwa sajid. The closest you can ever get to the Lord of the worlds who's made everything. Things you know and things you don't know. Things you may know in the future and things you will never know until Allah shows it to you. Is Allah. You put your head down and say, Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. Declaring the praise of Allah who is the highest, the greatest Al-Azim.
in ruku, when we bow, when we prostrate for Allah. My brothers and sisters, let's turn to Allah. We turn to Allah in repentance and we ask Allah to grant us goodness. Like I said, let's go back and do a bit of homework. You, it will be worth it. Go and check out what is the James Webb telescope and see what it is. Like I said, it's a fraction of a fraction of a fraction still, but there's more to come. May Allah Almighty grant us from his goodness.